of the whistle high in the slot area. Captain and Samuelson. Usually don't see Samuelson, pardon me, Captain no. in this, but of course, you know with Samuelson, you never know what that man will do from behind or in any sense of any way on the ice. He's very good at being an instigator and running away. <laughs> Gloves all over the place. Looks like an old Donnie Brook back in the early 60s. Yes, it certainly does with all the driftwood and gloves and other equipment on the ice. And it's not over yet as no. more words are exchanged on the way to the penalty box. Oh, and let him go. Reaper. That and Glenn Featherstone. And Mandeville in there. There comes a time when you hate to be a linesman. You may as well just let him go and get the frustrations over with. Yeah, especially in this oh, heavy of humanity. Now it's Grimson and Langdon. Here we go. Stu got a couple of quick lefts in. I think surprising landing. He's got the score oh. over the head. Here we go. Peekaboo two. Look at this. Well, you can pick up pointers, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> oh, my. I think that would hurt. Mercy. See, even an old veteran like Stu Grins can pick up pointers on the Kelly Chase fight. <laughs> Ouch. Well, the Rangers are getting licked in every sense here tonight. On the scoreboard, physically. Langdon's been asking for it all night. Yes, he's he played, has. He's played a good game. He's up here for a reason, and that is the only reason, really, to be an aggressive player on the ice for the New York Rangers is just... Uh, trying to break his stick, I guess. Well, he's claiming that to do this or do that. So next year, uh, well, Samuelson involved with Sammy Kapanen. That's a, is that a sweet to fit? Yes. You understand that's that? Well water. Water. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's serious. Still a few gloves flying out from the scrub. Scandinavian war going on. Darren Langdon, uh, Pulled off by Glenn Featherstone uh, got a hold of him. Big uh, well, Grimson in there too or not? No. no. Yeah, Mandel, Mandel, Bill, Kapanen. Yeah, Grimson's there, sir. Oh, no, all right. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't see him. 10.35 to go in the third. And a linesman right now would like to see straight time. Kevin Collins dealing with no, he's Half kind of done some players. Here. See, uh, in this situation, it, the, both lines would get a good job. When two players are about to have a battle, sometimes the players should police themselves, let them get it over with, and the game marches on. Uh -oh. Featherstone. Featherstone wants Langdon. Langdon throws a punch and drinks it. Langdon now, throws it crazy. And here, Kevin Collins will end up taking a punch here. This is where 10-minute misconduct should be handed yeah. out. Grimson got Langdon. He threw a left. That got this one going. Another one. Langdon comes back. Grimson's a bigger guy. He took off his elbow pad to loosen up his arm. Now you can see he's got he's got Langdon the same way. And he doesn't want to open the jersey either. Oh man, that, he squeezed the jersey shut, and he had Langdon cold, and he really nailed him one. Now did the jersey break or come loose, or what happened? Hold it over his head. That sure be, if I was him, and, and, and if there's a, a jersey that came loose there, I'd be checking that out, and I'd be mad. But Grimson is a big, tough kid. He took advantage of the scenario and smacked him. Well, getting downright ugly now. Uh-oh. Langdon's really losing it here. He's got to watch himself. One more game with these two teams? Yep, March 29th, right here. here. Yeah, they'll be taking names and numbers. Looks like Grimson caught him the very first punch of the scraps hand with the left, and that didn't look like Langdon was ready for it. And then they got after one another, and the sweater came over the head of Langdon. And you guys are going to square off and go. It's a different story. Well, there's Collins. It looked like everything was under control. And then Langdon there is with 
Grimson. Oh, and Grimson threw the first one and got it going. Now watch Grimson take his elbow pad off. Now the jersey of Langdon, I don't understand how it got over his head. Yeah, is it tied down, Sam? And now you can see Grimson's right hand ties the jersey. Look how he, he just took the jersey, and there he yeah. threw a solid punch into Langdon. I think he almost stretched it out, John, you know, right?